I just found this thing. It looks like an old splitting wedge. I doubt that it's mine because I don't use splitting wedges. Uh, still pretty cool. It looks like it's been buried for way longer than I've been here, but hey, I don't know. Pretty cool find.
So in front of here, I dug out the most I could underneath the log. I can touch the cabin floor underneath. The plan is to make a semi foundation. Hopefully next time I come here, I'll have a little bit of rocks or something that I could stick under there uh, to make, like I said, a permanent foundation, I guess you could call it. I did the same on the rear of the cabin. A bit harder to see here since the sun is rising here in the, the back. But um, you're looking at the back of the cabin. I dug up the most I could. I could touch the floor underneath. I could go a little bit deeper on both sides, but I would rather lift up the cabin a little bit and then put some stones underneath. But I'm not sure that's going to be possible since I also have the workshop hooked up on the back. So I'm not sure. Even if I, I'd have to lift it up even like 2-3 inches, I'm not sure it'd be possible. Next time I come, I'll need to bring a grinder because I want to add tin here. At least a good 10-12 to 12 inches in length all the way up to the tree. And then go around the tree and start again another 12 inches of tin. Just so the water doesn't hit the logs because now I probably have an inch or two of overhang, not even a full finger. So the water drips down and onto the logs at the bottom and my log at the bottom is already pretty punky. It was like that when I put it there. Uh, I've mentioned before I, I never had a plan to have a log cabin to kind of just evolution took over and I'm like, okay, hey, might as well make a cabin. So uh, yeah, the log at the bottom is punky. That's why I'm doing all this. Uh, I could also add a strip of tin at the bottom and cover it up with dirt just so my log is pretty much 100% covered from everything. Uh, there's multiple options. I'm just trying to go with what would be the most cost effective and less time consuming because I have a whole lot of other projects I want to get done this year. This is an up close view. I know you guys can't really see much of the landscape here. But this is a pretty large maple. Uh, it's leaning towards the cabin and there is a pine tree growing right beside it. So I will cut the pine, have a nice clear open space. I would like to make a tree platform, maybe even if it's just head height off the ground, it's gonna clear a little bit of snow off of it. I can make some walls and lean to shelter uh, type of deal. I could put my batteries in there my control panel for the solar panels that I also want to buy this year. So pretty much I have, like I said, a whole lot of projects. But a nice tree platform, at least with a little roof. And maybe three or four walls with a little door. Newer solar panels. Uh, yeah, what we're going to have in Adventure Pack here, I'm sure. Thanks again for joining me for another little video. I talked about a little bit about my projects that I want to do found this little splitting wedge honestly I don't know if it's mine or not but uh, yeah it looks, it's pretty cool I'll, I'll use it maybe in the future to split logs or something I don't know but <laughs> it's a cool piece anyways so comment like and subscribe like always if you have any questions or advice leave it in the comment section below the video a like is always appreciated, it really helps out a lot, and always remember to share the content with your friends, and subscribe if you want to see more content. I try to post every Friday when possible.